makeup things right now I'm going to do an empties video here are all my empties got quite a lot to show you I didn't want to make a build up any further and I do want to get some of this in the recycling so I thought it's a good time to do it now I've gone okay I think I've got it sorted so on to my empties so the first thing is the Huggies Cotton Soft Sheets and I was actually down at the last few when I did my last empties video so I'm actually quite far through my next lot but I love these I actually just fold them over spray on some brush cleaner and I spot my clean my brushes every time I use them it's really good if you've got problem skin I do have a problem with like when I get um spots they tend to be quite infectious and infect across my skin so and I also use a lot of dark colors um and bright colors regarding eyeshadows so when you get colors mixed they don't look so good and I like nice crisp colors so that's why I do clean my brushes every single day it's really good for the health of your skin but it's also really good for your brushes it stops build up and then you don't have to deep clean quite so much so that's another bonus because that's something that you know it's you don't want to have to keep deep cleaning your brushes all the time so Huggies wipes they actually are just cotton soft sheets they're like dry wipes and they're fantastic so I use those and let's see what they look like that's what they look like <laughs> I have repurchased these many, many, many times. I think they are just amazing. So, the next thing is something that Tony actually used up, and it is the fabulous Flirty Dry Shampoo. This was in a Miss Gossy box. She's waving at me. Did you enjoy it? Well, it was, it's kind of cheap. It's cheap. It's one of those cheap ones. Yeah, she, she it found... It was nice. And it, it, it was nice. It... It was nice and it worked but it just, it was cheap and it didn't last long. It didn't last long so she felt like the effects when she put it on, it looked great at first but then it didn't last throughout the day. Unlike Batiste when you put that on it lasts all day, it just makes your hair look great. This one didn't like maintain that sort of nice fresh look in your hair all day um, and it's quite a strong smell. Yeah it's quite sort of... It's as nice as the... It's, yeah stuff. yeah it doesn't smell quite as nice as batiste um but there you go so that is that one we wouldn't purchase that one again is my black soap in there no should i get it if you want yeah <laughs> that's almost empty, <laughs> that's almost empty. well it is because i can't really squeeze much more out of it right the next thing is the clinique brush cleaner so this comes in this lovely handy spray bottle. I'm probably going to keep the bottle and put water in there. Quite useful. Um, I like to have a bottle with some water in. I normally have some smaller ones. But this is a good size so I am going to reuse this bottle. I do like to reuse things where I can. This has lasted ages. I spray that onto the sheets. This is them sheets but I've just been doing a video with lipstick. Um, and then I wipe the brushes clean on there. So this is quite nice. It smells okay. Can't find it. That's okay. I'll feature that in the next video. So this smells okay, it does a good job, but I feel like you need more of this than you do of things like um, the Bare Minerals brush cleaner and the MAC brush cleaner. So, um, but then again, it did last a long time. So I do like this product, but I probably wouldn't purchase it again. It was around 11 pounds. I got this because at the time, um, there was a really good package deal where you got like a tin and you got cosmetics in it and some skincare. So I got the bottom lash mascara and I got this because she allowed me to take one skincare with one beauty. Um, and I'd always wanted to try it. So it's probably not something I would purchase again, but it was a nice product. And if I did run out and I was in a bit of a bind, that's something that I would buy um, because I do have a clinic counter in my local boots. The next thing's from number seven. This is the Beautiful Skin Hot Cloth Cleanser. This is the second one that I've gone through of this. I absolutely love it. I've got another one out now. It's just really nice. It's really creamy. It smells amazing. I mean, number seven skincare just smells gorgeous. I feel like it does a really good job. I don't use it very often, to be honest. It's not something that I think, oh, I really want to do that. Probably use it once a fortnight, but it is really nice. And I've got the cloth that came with this is quite nice. But I prefer the one that I got with like a little Lizelle sample, so I actually use that cloth instead because it's edged around the outside. Um, but yeah, really nice product and would continue to repurchase that one. The next thing is my Revlon Colorball in Fire Red 600. I don't often show this because I don't have this to show you because I usually decant it into a tub and then I sometimes forget and just chuck the bottle away. This is fantastic stuff. It's normally round by the way but to squeeze everything out I've given it a good hard squeeze. I use this when I wash my hair. I wash my hair once a week. Yes it sounds disgusting but it's not really. Um, I put this on with conditioner, leave it on for a good three to four minutes and then this is like an intensive conditioner with colour in it. So this actually puts colour back in your hair 
and yeah so it just revives the red which is if you're gonna have red hair you've got to have this in my opinion because this just keeps your hair color nice and vibrant and really fresh so I love this stuff now I normally get this from a local sort of it's on an industrial estate and it's a little shop that sells to salons and to professionals um, but you you have to pay the VAT if you're not a professional or a salon owner but it's not too bad it's it's around £11 but I've actually found it online for the same price with um, I think it's one ninety nine delivery but um, if you spend a certain amount you get free delivery so I'd probably buy a couple of these at one go and just stock up on them. I did dream that I dyed my hair green though so that's quite an unusual thing. Um, the next thing, I only have the bottom of it and it's not fully used, is by Amy or Amy. This was in a Miss Glossy box and it's sort of a face mask. It was horrible. My skin was burning like, I don't know, like I was sitting in flames. It was horrible. I couldn't wait to get this off my skin and I felt that it made me quite blotchy and I didn't like it. So that was horrible. I would never purchase it again. Also in here, we have a bath every day. So I have three of these. <laughs> I don't know why the lid's gone off this one. But yes, yeah, so I have three of these. These are the Johnson's Baby Soft Bath. Oh, they smell. These are chucked, by the way. Okay. It's they smell. Well. They smell beautiful. This is how baby bath used to smell. All baby soft and powdery and talky and gorgeous and now it just smells fruity and disgusting so this is the one that I prefer to get and I use it because I have funny skin and I can be allergic to some things well, so you can't get it anymore it doesn't smell like that anymore well obviously but that's why they've released this because this well, smells like Johnson's used to smell is it the original like talky babies <laughs> It's lovely. So I love this, I love the smell, and I don't like the smell of the blue one. They've ruined it, it's gone all fruity, it's disgusting. So this is the one to get because it smells talky and baby. And I love it. So I have three of those. The next thing is a conditioner and it's Happy Hair Days. This is the Colour Care Conditioner and it's got marshmallow in it. And it smells lovely. And I've used that all up. It has got a little bit of residue on the inside there but I can't seem to squeeze that out. Is that your empties? Yes. Have it going in a bit? Yes. Okay. Can't think to make a video in here <laughs> without interruption. The next thing is another brush cleaner. I basically didn't have much left of this um, but I've used it all up now and it's the Bare Minerals Quick Change Brush Cleaner. Um, that was my last one of this. I don't have a backup now. Um, I'm on my MAC brush cleaner now which I absolutely love anyway. This is lovely. It's £10 for this little bottle though. You don't get as much as you get with MAC. I wouldn't purchase it again. I use Debenhams points to get that so it cost me nothing um, but I wouldn't pay for it if I had to. Cotton buds, Johnson's cotton buds. These are fantastic. I use them to clean my ears. No, not all the way in. You should only do just inside the ear because you can lose the ends off inside your ear. Believe me, my mum did that. Yeah. It's quite funny. That's, a, that's another video. <laughs> that's another story for another video. I'll share that at some point because it's quite it's a very funny story but I use these to do eye boo boos so I put a little bit of eye makeup remover on it and then I tied it around the eyes or around the lips boo boos they're for boo boos so yeah I've gone through one of those and the next thing is from Rituals I use a bit of that yeah we've all used this I think Alex used some of it Tony's used it I have this all empty I'm so sad but this is the Tai Chi um, shower foam so it comes out as a gel and it's really quite fun because it comes out as gel but then it forms up and it's just I like fun things like that just because I'm just a child but it smells quite nice and I do have probably another five I did a lot of swaps and got different smells of this I was gonna say flavors but they're not I got different smells so I will get another one of these out but it probably won't last long because we all get quite excited when these appear out in the shower <laughs> we're all like oh gel that turns into foam they're nice yeah they are really really nice rituals is nice and this is these retail for six pounds each it's not a bad price the next thing that i've got here what i've got now is everything's a bit sticky mm. yeah. okay so i've got four makeup items left in here and an empty jar from before which i'm probably going to utilize for something you know me i'm a recycler so the last four items i've got this powder this is the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. I got mine in fair. It's got a little bit of residue in there. I used it till it was just around the sides and I cracked it off and tried to use it, but it, you know, it wasn't really very good. Is that from Pepsi? No, oh. this is Revlon. Oh, I think I remember. Was it pink? 
Yeah, like a pillow. I remember getting you that. I remember. Did you? That, that, well, was that another thing? That was another thing. <laughs> yeah, I have That's okay. That was another thing. That was another thing. But yes, this was nice powder, but it was very soft. Now, my problem with this is it didn't last very long. I think that it was $6.99 when it was on offer. A beautiful powder, felt great on the skin, really nice coverage, did its job, lasted all day. But I have other powders that have done that. I've got the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light or Fair, and I've had it forever, and I've used it loads, but I've still got loads left. So I don't like these kinds of very soft powders that don't last very long because I don't think they're very good value even though they are really nice. There's excitement now because Tony's pizza has arrived. There's a delivery. Right, so the next thing is a gel liner from Maybelline. Water. It's not empty. I am such a terrible person. Is that the <gasps> No, that's long gone. I haven't replaced that yet. So this is... A Maybelline liner. No, it's not empty. No, I'm not being a fraud. It's dried up. Can't use it now. It's just really dry and it's horrible. And I'm not very happy with that because I've only had it over a year. So yes, not good. I wouldn't purchase that again, that's for sure. Um, the next thing is from the Studio Secrets line, which is... Things are a little bit sticky. <laughs> Studio Secrets, is that Revlon or L'Oreal? That's L'Oreal! The L'Oreal Studio Secrets Primer. I'm probably going to use this little glass container again if I can. Yes, it's empty. I've scraped it as much as I can. Beautiful primer. Love this. It's very equivalent to the Gosh one, which is the Velvet Touch one. I love that one that's in a tub. It's so creamy. My skin feels really lovely and smooth with that. And this has the same sort of effects. My makeup lasts all day. It's really, really good primer. So I really love this. And you do have another one. So that is something I would repurchase. <laughs> Come on, Jeeves. So, <laughs> this one's is up. Shut the door. <laughs> so. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Which mouse is that, So the last thing in here is a Mac item, which will go in with my other Mac items to do a back to Mac. And it is one of the Electric Cool Shadows. I'm incredibly disappointed that this is gone because it was my favourite, obviously, because it's all gone. Come on, chap. This one is in black lit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, then. All right. <laughs> all right. That's good. That's good. Go and eat your pizza. Okay. All right. I want Okay. I don't know what's going on with filming today, but everybody seems to want to be in. But that is black lit. Um, can I get a little bit? Oh, ooh, look at that around the outside. No, I'm not a fraud. I haven't left a load of it in there, but it's just a black and it's got sparkles in it. But it's just whatever's the residue around the outside. I am so disappointed that this is gone. I love this. It's beautiful. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I hope they re-release these because I just, oh, they're so lovely. That's it. I'm all sticky now because there was a stickiness in the bag. Anyway, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed my empties video. Thank you very much for watching as always. I'm going to love you and leave you and see you all soon. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. Comment, like, subscribe, share. See.